There's something magical about this place. It, it's like nothing else. We're trying really hard to uh, protect the skies, keep the skies dark. Without the dark skies here, we, we'd be in the world hurt. It's beginning to encroach on us. The uh, dark skies, the remote location, uh, the high elevation, the dry climate, and the southerly location all combine to, to make this uh, an ideal spot for, for an observatory. McDonald historically and certainly uh, ongoing today has had a very active public outreach education program. Astronomy is an excellent vehicle for science education in the country. I don't have the, the technical inclination to be a, you know, an astrophysicist. The, the math and the physics stuff uh, escapes me. The biggest part of my job responsibilities are maintaining the, the dark skies, keeping the skies dark for the observatory. Dark sky just means the lack of any artificial light sources, the anthropogenic light, uh, man-made, you know, human origin light sources. It's a relatively recent phenomenon. I mean, light pollution wasn't a term anybody would have understood 100 years ago. And astronomers are kind of like the canaries in the coal mine. We're the first ones to say, hey, wait a second, the skies here aren't as dark as they used to be. Tens of billions of dollars a year worldwide is, is just wasted up into the night sky. Uh, light that's doing nobody any good whatsoever and is blocking our view of the stars. One of my earliest memories is um, watching the moon rise through a pair of binoculars leaned up against a window. Ever since then, I've been fascinated by the night sky and looking through telescopes. It's gonna look like a garage sale in here. The new uh, upgraded parts are still being attached to the telescope. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't even look like, I mean, I've had people come in here and go, so where's the telescope, you know? The amount of data collected by the telescope is uh, about to dramatically increase. Gathering light from some galaxies that are 10, 12 billion light years distant, very faint objects. Um, we're talking about maybe a dozen or so photons per hour will be collected by the telescope. So if the, the background sky gets brighter than the faint objects we're trying to uh, observe, then uh, we lose them, or they're lost for observation. So um, it's critical that we maintain the dark skies here at, at McDonald Observatory in West Texas. It's an amazing project, it's really remarkable. Can't wait to get on a star. When you say pollution, you don't think of light as being in that category of pollution. So uh, it's not something you think you're doing wrong. And when I talk about the dark skies, I try to help people understand how easy it is to preserve them. All it is is a choice you make at Home Depot to buy the light that points down instead of points up. And doing it here, I think, is important because people can see the dark sky. And once people kind of get a, an idea of to what they could have in their backyard, they're more motivated to go and make those right decisions. You can come into this community at night and you'll think, you know, where'd the power go? Because we, as a group, you know, keep our night lights either directed downwards or don't use them, but it's encroaching from, from other areas, particularly the oil patch in Permian Basin. The only way to keep McDonald Observatory working and safe and viable is for dark skies.
we've seen the glow along the horizon to our northeast steadily increase. We are not against outdoor lighting tonight. This is not an anti-light campaign. We're trying to promote good lighting. First off, there are ordinances in place, outdoor lighting ordinances in place in the uh, seven counties that surround McDonald Observatory um, that basically ask that light be kept on the ground and out of the sky. Within the seven counties, the Texas Railroad Commission has let right at 5,000 permits in five years uh, to drill uh, for oil and gas, and that's just the drilling. Uh, that doesn't take into account all the facilities that go along uh, with, uh, with oil and gas production. So there are literally thousands of installations within the region that's protected by law uh, to keep the skies dark. I don't think a single oil and gas operator even knew that there was a lighting ordinance in place. Our ability to, to enforce a dark skies ordinance type thing sort of ends at the county line for us. There are just so many things we can't do. We're not talking about enforcement, we're talking about education. You can force people to do a lot of things, but the better thing is to educate people how important this is. I've been to probably a dozen major conventions over the past year and a half. Bill's a great guy. I mean, you know, he can sell this, and he does sell this, and he goes around, and, and you know, that's, that's what we have to do is educate. It's not a technical problem, it's an educational problem. I don't think there's anybody that's insensitive or doesn't care, it's just not a blip on their radar screen. A lot of them will say, well, I never really thought about it before. Uh, but once they do, it's like, well, sure, this is, you know, this is a problem that we don't need to have. If we can just keep the light on their work and out of the sky, problem solved. Going to a state park in a place away from the city, it's a really majestic feeling. We're really using our state parks as demonstration sites. We'll just do a tour of the constellations and people can learn a little bit. And then we'll start talking to people about light pollution and how they themselves can help reduce some of the light pollution. Because when you do go and see the Milky Way, it's a really inspiring sight. Today, Enchanted Rock joins an elite group of park, preserves, and other conservation areas worldwide as an IDA International Dark Sky Park. We look forward to a long and enduring relationship with Enchanted Rocks and Texas Parks and Wildlife that will help us keep the stars at, at night truly big and bright. Please accept this award with our compliments. Congratulations, Doug. Really, man. Thank you. Yeah, you did, you've done so much. You've done so much. Do people living in urban areas notice that they're missing anything? Some don't. But if they've never really seen it, then it's, uh, it's hard to convey um, the meaning or the value that it might have. There's nothing quite like um, getting out under a starry sky and actually seeing it for yourself.